Hey guys, it is ChessyFan3802 here with another review video. And uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a new item that I just purchased. I don't think it is a new item, but it is the Walther's Mainline uh, CNO 2 Bay Ribside Hopper. So, uh, yeah, this is a product I purchased. I actually purchased two of these, but they're the exact same um, livery on them. So, no really need to show you both of them. But this is one of them anyways. Of course, it is Walther's Mainline item. But, uh, yeah, I picked this up because I actually do not have any of the uh, Two Bay Hoppers that have the CNO Progress logo on them. So, it is a little new um, for my collection. And it probably would work to have a bit of variety in there. You know, so it was um definitely a good purchase in my opinion because now I have a little bit of a little bit of a mix and match in my coal train, which is uh pretty nice and pretty accurate too because you know of course used a lot of their coal equipment, a lot of different uh, versions of their coal equipment in the in the sixties and seventies, which is of course what I'm trying to model here. Uh, despite the steam engines, which is kind of an older train, but anyways, um this is yes the Walther's mainline. CNO 2 Bay Ribside Hopper. So let me get this out of the box and I'll be right back. Alright, now that the uh, hopper is out of the box, uh, let's actually take a quick look at the box itself. So the box is uh, pretty straightforward. It's just a uh, Walther's Mainline box standard for a lot of model railroaders. I actually um, love the design of the box. For some reason it looks very, um, very, uh, what's the word? Oh, well, anyways, it, it looks very uh, very clean, I should say. And, uh, of course, you got the Walters Mainline logo. And, of course, on the other side, the Two Bay Ribbed Side Hopper, Chesapeake and Ohio. And, as you can see, I did get it on a discount, which is kind of nice. The back of the package just features a brief read-up brief read up on the Walters Mainline. So, if you want to pause that, go right ahead. I won't read it because I can't read. And I already screw up enough on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to pause that, you can read the back. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the box. Uh, now I'll be right back and we will take a look at the hopper itself. So here is our uh, two bay hopper. Um, so yeah, we'll take a look at it. So on this side of the hopper, of course, we can see it has the CNO Progress logo as well as the uh, CNO calling marks and the road number. It also has some nice uh, legible. Uh, printing on the side too which is nice of the capacity um, amount and um, width of the hopper which is kind of nice so that that is pretty cool and it's even got some smaller writing too which is even you can that's even readable as well which is very very nice and of course on the bottom here some of the um, the the bay detail as well as the bay you can read some of the things it says on the on the actual two bays of the hopper which is kind of nice uh, yeah, so taking a look at the ends of the hopper, uh, there's more um, writing on there as well as some great detailing on the steps. Simple, but very good. And of course, it comes with a, uh, uh, a I believe this is a steel coupler, which is very nice. And um, of course, it's equipped with steel wheels, which is also very nice. In the, on the uh, inside of the hopper, there ain't really much to say. And it's a standard. It looks pretty good for what it is, but of course, it's not. It's it's not the greatest uh, inside detail I've seen, but it, it is pretty nice. And then of course the trucks, just your standard um, standard trucks. I don't really know the name for these, but um, nice they do have uh, steel wheels on them, which is quite nice. So that is good. And then on the bottom of the hopper, just more detail. I do like the um, the center f detail, which is very nice. That is that does look really good. Um, minding the I wish my camera would focus here there we go see some of the detail on there which is quite nice um we can see that may there might have been some weights applied yes there is these are actually weights these sections here um you can feel them if you ever get one they do feel very very metallic so I believe that's what they would be which is quite nice because these hopper this hopper is fairly light but once I get a load for it it shouldn't be much of an issue but uh yeah but uh very nice very nice hopper so yeah so that uh, pretty much wraps it up for this video um, on this review of the Walters Mainline 2 Bay Hopper. This is a, a really actually nice product. I, if you, I think they release it in several different railroad schemes. I don't think CNO is the only one. I highly doubt it is. But uh, I, didn't, I didn't do a lot of research on this before I reviewed it. But um, it's very nice. So if you're looking for just some nice 2 Bay Hoppers, this is definitely a very good. And it's also fairly inexpensive, $20. I mean... It's better than some of the Bowser ones. And the Bowser ones are nice too, but I, I do like this. Looks very good. 
So, yeah, that pretty much does it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and, of course, subscribe for new content. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Happy railroading.